some parts in our 1950 Dodge Coronet. We've had a lot of inquiries about this car, so we thought we'd take the time and share it with you today. Hi, I'm Larry from Hagemeister Enterprises. Wow. I want to share with you the things about the car today that we find very interesting. Uh, it is an all original car. The paint is island green and it has been painted, but other than that, it's pretty much a driver for us. We have had it four years and have put 35,000 miles on it, so it's a traveling car for us. Let me show you some of the cool features of this car. This car is actually a gyromatic, it's a four speed transmission and it's a Dodge's version of an automatic of that time period. 1949 was the first year for Cornette and this is a 1950 so this is the second year for Dodge Cornette with a gyromatic transmission. This is the forced air vent into the car as you're going down the road. We jokingly call it the air conditioner. Right out on the front of the grill they have the Dodge Crest and up on top of the hood is a Dodge Ram. Let's have a look under the hood. These fancy cars have an inside hood release, by the way. So this car is six volt positive ground and we've left it all original because it works so well. You can see the positive cable here is going to the to the engine block and the negative is going down to the starter solenoid. So these cars were flathead motors. This electrical wiring right here, kind of unique, and this electrical stuff right here is for the gyromatic transmission. Also, with the heater control system right there, there's valves on the water pump and on the block. So if you ever lost a radiator hose, I'm sorry, heater hose, you could just simply shut these and then you wouldn't lose any water through here. So again, the car being so original, we, we put some heat shrink on some of the frayed wires. That helps save the wiring. You can see some of it is, is, is coming off here, but it's no harm. Uh, it's just a good way to save the wiring in these old cars. Over here, this is the main power feed for the vehicle. We've actually taken and put fusible link here which a lot of these cars didn't have and that caused a lot of problems when there was a short in the wiring system. The fusible link is a surge protection and that's how it saves the wiring system. So this is another thing we do to the car to, to help it when it sets for a while. The, today's gasoline is awful challenged and it evaporates a lot when it sets in the carburetor. So this right here is just a primer bulb that we installed that when the car sits for a long time, a couple of weeks, whatever, you can just prime it and you can hear the float bowl filling. That's a very cool feature that we put in that helps the car start right up when it's been setting. This right here is a is the is the fresh air into the into the inside of the car and it's actually a filter. There's a filter under here, a cabin air filter. And uh, we keep that on there to help keep the debris out of the inside of the car. Let's go ahead and start it up. And again, being 6 volt, a lot of people complain about the 6 volt systems, but if they're left alone and they're, they're, the wiring is properly done, the cables are big enough, the coils are good, they start right up. 
as you can see, the way it starts and the many thousands of miles we've driven it, that's the way it runs on all of our trips. Just smooth and quiet, just like that. And the six volt system works really well. Also, as you can see right up front here, they've got some pretty big horns. So let's take a listen to those. The way the transmission works, the gyromatic, it's, as I said, a four-speed transmission. Uh, in the owner's manual, they call it tiptoe shifting. As you can see, the safety clutch, that's what they call it, you put the car in gear, and then once it's in gear, you don't have to touch that again. It shifts up or shifts down, depending on if you have it in first and second or third and fourth. So a lot of little simple things they do, too, is, like right here, they cover the key to lock the door. Got these to protect your hands when you're opening the door. So these, these cars do have electric wipers, and the vehicles of this time period, a lot of them had vacuums. So they were trying things to uh, make improvements on them. The dash is pretty clean. The car has uh, 132,000 on it. The only thing that doesn't work in the car is the radio. We didn't feel that the cost to get that fixed was worth it uh, just being an AM radio, but other than that, all the features work. It's got dimming dash lights, uh, the heater controls over there, defrost. So here's the uh, the dash lights. They have a rheostat built in, like a lot of the cars. Very cool. Turn the dash lights way down and turn them back up. Works very nice. Here's your feature on the uh, key switch is lit. So you can see where to put the key in. Everything works in the car. Uh, the clock works. Glove box. Ashtray. The heater system. Defrost, cooling, heater fan. So this switch here is for the back seat passengers to be able to turn on the dome light if they want. Easy to use back seat window cranks. Work very nice. An ashtray for the back seat passengers as well. So this is a copy of the original uh, sales brochure for the car, 1950. And again, it's a copy because it's uh, we just keep it in the car. Um, shows the models that Dodge had at the time. Meadowbrook, Wayfair, convertible, your business coupe some of the features of the car and this talks about the gyromatic tiptoe shifting this is the uh, the car right here it's called a six passenger club coupe has the post it's not a hard top very cool and more features like we showed you the heater system clock talks about the lighted key switch. And the last page talks about the heater control as I showed you and part of the cabin air filter. Wanted to show you the trunk here. Just a simple T-handle comes open. All this is, all this is really nice. The, uh, the rubber here is in fairly decent shape yet. Some of the wiring here, as I was telling you, very good shape, very good shape. Hope you enjoyed the tour of our 1950 Dodge Cornette. See you in the garage next time. Let's go have some dinner.